Hi, in this video we are going to begin a very important concept which is associated with any web development technology and also with this ASP.NET that is state management. As in the introduction of ASP.NET we have already covered like what is a postback and how does it works. We have also worked few properties like page.isPostback and auto postback property of the controls. Now let's discuss few things more about this postback. Like whenever a page is posted back, as we know HTTP is the responsible protocol for doing this. So HTTP which means hypertext transfer protocol, it only carries the hypertext of the page from client to server and server to client. Means, meanwhile, no data which a user has entered in that particular page is associated during this round trip. As a result, the data which is associated with a particular page gets lost during this round trip in the post back. So, obviously, it will not give a pleasant ex experience to the user that is, every time when he is filling some form, after the post back, he is losing the data. So, as the result, we will do something which will preserve the data because by default, this HTTP is a stateless protocol. It will only be able to carry the uh, formatting, means the HTML of the page, but not the data. For example, in any particular page, if you have created a data set or any particular object, that will lose the value after the round trip. So, here we can go for the state management as the solution. So basically the idea is we if we we'll, uh, include the data during the round trip it will be lost alright. So either we will store the data on the base of per page or on the basis of the complete web application means if the data is associated for a single page only I will store it somewhere in the page memory or if I want to use the same value for the complete and uh, complete web application, I will store it in that particular way. So we have the different ways for doing that and the state management can be classified on the multiple multiple basis that is the client side state management or server side or server based state management. So in client side state management, basically we will store the value somewhere on the client machine so that Either it will not be the part of postback or if it is a part of postback then in, in a way that it will not be lost. And the server side state management or server based state management where we will keep the data on a server machine so that it will be shared by the client or multiple clients. Now each of these concepts like if you will be working with client side state management or if you will be working with server side state management each of them would be having some advantage or disadvantage we will discuss about them specifically by the time we will start working with them so in our next video we will discuss few things in deep regarding client based state management and once we will be done with that we will also cover the server based state management so in next video let's discuss client based state management